Hey there, it's Michael Ann again, Seattle Money Coach. I wanna talk for a few minutes about what under earning is. I know that a lot of people are frustrated with how much money they're making. And definitely there is gender discrimination out there and the glass ceiling is a very real thing. And what I wanna talk about is what our role is because if we can look at what we are doing that might be suppressing our earnings that will go a long way towards helping us earn more money so what under earning means is it is the pattern of earning less money than you need you could also say it's the pattern of earning below our potential because our potential is amazing or you could say it's the pattern of underselling ourselves but you can tell the common word in the definitions are pattern, meaning we all have things happen in our career where we earn less money and it's just not our fault. Things happen, right? We may have a bad boss that won't promote us. Um, many people are hurt financially with the pandemic and that's partly why they're not making a lot of money right now. So there's a lot of outside factors that affect our earning. But what under earning is, is the part that we play in underselling ourselves. So the good news is when people become aware of what under earning is, that right there helps them stop underselling themselves. Many people are simply not aware that this is a pattern because it hasn't really been named. So here are probably the top two or three ways that people under earn top way is that people consistently throughout their career don't negotiate their starting salary, followed by they don't ask for a raise as often as their colleagues that do earn more than they do, followed by when they do ask for a raise, they don't ask for as much money as some of their colleagues are asking for. If you're self-employed, it's very similar. When we're self-employed, we may come into the market with our fees set lower than people that are not frustrated earners. And we wait too long to raise our fees. And then when we do, we don't raise our fees by as much money as other higher earners. So it is really helpful to become aware of this pattern. There are of course, infinite ways that people undersell themselves, such as giving our time away, staying in a dead end job, having a hard time saying no. I mean, there's lots of ways that we undersell ourselves. But be clear, this is not about underworking or underachieving. A lot of people that are frustrated with how much money they make work really hard. And they also can achieve great things. Their colleagues think they're amazing. So it can create this feeling of, oh my gosh, if people only knew that I don't make as much money as they do. I think this is actually though a very hopeful topic to talk about because again, we cannot change what we are unaware of. And when we start to look at our history and our pattern of underselling ourselves, it can go a long ways towards us stopping this um, pattern of behavior. So I hope this is helpful. I'll share many more videos in the future with lots of other tips of how to stop underselling ourselves. But if we can all become aware of what under earning is and look at it in our own lives, we can go a long ways towards starting to earn the money that we truly deserve. My name is Michael Ann Volterra and I'm at Seattle Money Coach. Thanks.